Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Gary, the Gentleman Scholar. Alert the media. I'm making a video. Hmm. Got this going. This is probably one of my favorite pipes. It's obviously, it's a cob. Gifted to me to a fellow named Tom. It's one of my favorite pipes, actually. And I am smoking something called Cornell and Deal's Autumn Evening. And this is a gift from a very nice gentleman called Fred. Fred M. Fred N, I'll call him. Vietnam veteran. Just recovered from some serious surgery. Made it back home today. And I've been checking in on him. Frequently. Over on Facebook. And he, uh... In appreciation for my checking in on him, he, um... He gifted me, like, four of his favorite tobaccos. He likes aromatics. And... This is the second one I'm smoking today. As you can see, it's a beautiful day here in um, New Hampshire, Manchester, New Hampshire. Excuse me. And I'm trying to make these uh, pipe videos more of a regular feature as I get used to this hobby, lifestyle, pursuit. I like to uh, ingratiate, well basically uh, incorporate, incorporate myself fully, a little more fully into the pipe smoking community. And I'm getting better at this. Practice makes perfect. So. Hmm. Very nice. I am drinking in honor of uh, a gentleman called Stephen Beerbeard over southeast of London. With this, I'm having a pint of something called Great North RVP, Great North Ale Works RVP Robust Vanilla Porter. And it's made in my very own state of New Hampshire. Manchester, New Hampshire, New England. For those of you in uh, the original England, or in the UK. I just wanted to say hello. Finally, it's the first really good day we've been able to sit out here. This is my second pipe of the day. The first one I smoked in my... The only Meerschaum I have... Got it on an Etsy of all things. It was um, like 20 bucks or something like that. So I figured I'd just spring for it while it was there. I smoked um, something called Lane Limited BCA. Another one of Fred's, Fred's gifts. I'm sampling them all. He's also a... Uh, he's made himself available as a mentor. He goes, if you have any questions, call me up. And I know that goes for all of you who I communicate with in the YouTube pipe community. But he's... Uh, he goes, if you have any questions, if you... Uh, Anything you have any questions about, like how to smoke a pipe or how what you're doing wrong or doing right, please let me know. Just a very nice guy. I kept referring to him as, to, as sir, but he wouldn't hear it. He goes, no, I'm just Fred. I'm just one of the guys. Of course, you know, being a Vietnam War veteran, I kind of put him on a pedestal. He's, you know, he's uh, larger than life. He's a superhero. Yeah, get this lit anyway. So basically, you know, like I'll say, I say hello, say hello to him from time to time. I'm gonna do a couple shout-outs here once I get this lit again and burn my flesh.
first of all, Beer Beard, as mentioned before, Stephen, he's always a pleasure to watch. He talks about his tobaccos and his pipes, but he also talks about everything else. Life, music, um, bits of his life in the UK, which I always find excellent. He's uh, He uh, just recently did rediscovered vinyl. So he's, here. he's having a great time with that. I recently uh, ordered up the latest Amy Mann album on vinyl called Mental Illness. And it, it, it sounds like a giggle, I know, but uh, she's one of my favorite singer-songwriters. And she's been around since uh, the days of Till Tuesday. Their big hit was Voices Carry. That's the one that every single 80s station would ever play, or classic station. And I've followed her pretty much ever since. I know there's something about her, uh, her lyrical sensibility, especially as she uh, she left the whole low rent Thompson twin sound behind and edged more towards acoustic. Uh, her lyrics are very uh, her her thing is like micro politics of relationships, and she uh, basically it sounds like she's like sometimes when you're down there and you're down in the dumps and you listen to her stuff it's like she's you're reading your diary or reading your journal and she made lyrics out of them but I'm in I'm in a more happier place right now I'm in a happier place right now in my life before I used to cling to her lyrics like. Like they're a holy scripture, because I was there, down in the dumps, and every word, you know, resonated. But now I'm not so much in that place. But I'll buy her stuff because she's 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 done her she's made her career in her own terms. She's just below the radar line. You'll never hear her songs done on uh, the Voice or anything like that. Thank God. But I think I packed this right. I'm getting a little lashes here, but that's okay learning curve. But um, I'll, I'll collect, I'll, I'll buy anything she ever does. Especially if it's a band I really like, I'll do it on vinyl. Vinyl's expensive. So you have to really like the band you're, you're a fan of. So, Beer Beard. Always a pleasure to see his videos. Grandpa Cavendish, Ed, down on uh, Long Island. He's a Queens, he's a Queens boy, born and bred. And whenever he takes us into the city, um, he knows where he's going. He knows what he's doing. You could tell that that he was raised in that city and around that city. So you know, you have a decent Big Apple tour guide there. Always a pleasure to see his videos. Obviously, the Holy Smoking Pipe Padre. I don't know where my tamper is, so I'm using my finger. Doesn't hurt that much. Holy Smoking Pipe Padre is a very dear friend. I had the pleasure of meeting him once out in California when he was still in Sacramento. I work for an airline, so I had a layover there. And I visited him. And uh, went, to his, went to the Briar Patch, I believe it was. And smoke, sat down and smoked and hung out and talked like pipe smokers do. Yeah. Chewy bits. These are kind of tricky if you ever get them. They don't always fit the pipe stem correctly, so you have to. Finesse. And that's the thing with pipe smoking. You have to finesse and finagle, and it's a bit finicky, which is why I haven't taken to it as quickly as uh, I could have. It's almost a discipline that you have to commit yourself to. Hmm. Very nice. Also, do it to shout out to Kel, um, Smoke Rings Pipe Dreams. He was my very first uh, pipe guy I've ever ever saw on uh, YouTube. So. Always gets a special mention out in Montana. Met him a couple times too on his home turf.
always interesting to talk to Kel. Um, and the thing is, I remember at the hotel I stayed at, he when he brought me back to the hotel, he says, hey, I remember we used to, I used to like hang out and drink at this hotel back when I was younger. So I felt like I was kind of the guest star and someone else here because he's lived here all of his life in that particular town of Montana, small town. But it's a ski town, so of course it has a lot of traffic going in. But if you see, yeah, I used to drink in that hotel bar. I just kind of, that's interesting. This is, I'm kind of visiting his life. He's always lived here. So whenever I'm visiting that part of Montana, I always like to try and look in on him. God, I love this hype. It just never stops smoking. I love it. Also, I'd like to mention Flanker Tanker. He doesn't do many videos anymore, Martin. But I see, get him on. He's, he gifted me this pipe once upon a time. And I'm very grateful for it. And um, I'm on touch with him more on Facebook than anything else. There's a, there's a, there's a YouTube Facebook overlap from time to time. And uh, between the two, I've learned quite a bit. Do a little tamp. I'd like to do a couple of Facebook shout-outs here, though. Um, Steve, brother Steve, very nice guy. He's pretty much the um, epitome of what I think a Christian, I don't want to say should be, because that sounds judgmental, but he's a, a very kind gent, a very humble Christian. And he's a blues guitarist. So... It's hard to think of a better human being right there. He plays blues guitar and he's pretty good at it too. Yeah, I think he has his own channel, uh, Steve Patterson. His name is if you want to check him out here on YouTube. Also, Fred, Fred N. I'm saying hello to you and thank you for these tobaccos. Of course, I can't pack worth a damn, as you can see, with all this ass act ass ash action going on. But that's okay. The more I do it, the better I'll get at it. Al. Skipper Al. He's, um, he's actually down in the next state, Massachusetts. He's a next, uh, he used to be a skipper. I'm not sure what kind of ship he was on before, but he used to be a skipper in New York Harbor. He used to spend two weeks on, two weeks off. Got sick of it, and he decided to start his own mom and pop transport company, so he wouldn't be held prisoner for a job for two weeks at a time. And that I can understand being in the travel field myself. Very nice guy. I always like to say hello to him. Norm, up in Nova Scotia. Always a pleasure to talk to him. Um, on the cusp of retirement, and he can't wait. He'll be playing golf and uh, pretty much full time once he does that. But just a very nice guy. I picture, I picture him in like small, some small Nova Scotian village up there. Very close to the border because I he works he he's about to retire from being a a toll agent taking the money so he, he says he works pretty close to the border so you won't miss that. Who else? Let's see. There's Al. There's Steve. There's Norm. David, the Silver Fox. He's also on YouTube. And I know him from, um, mostly from Facebook. Also, um, I have to say hello to Pappy, down in Florida. Very nice guy. Big reader. Heavy duty reader. We're exchanging book ideas all the time. Book suggestions. He reads faster than I'll ever be able to. 
David up in Canada, David S., um, pipe smoker and also fellow com fellow comic book sci-fi geek. Every weird, every weird thing I post up on Facebook, any weird, any weird reference to some movie or science fiction, he's got a meme or a gif there that uh, fits it perfectly. So I do appreciate that. This pipe just keeps on giving. Don't want to forget anyone here. I mentioned. I know this might tend to be a little boring. I'm just, I'm just trying to like um, homage people I know. Hmm. And who enrich my life on, on the internet, on YouTube or Facebook. Also, Monsieur Gilles Cassidy, up in Sanguinet, Quebec. He helps me practice my French. Pour lui, je, je dis merci, merci pour la pratique française, monsieur. Toujours, toujours, j'ai besoin de pratiquer la française. Because if you don't use it, you lose it. So, my parents, um, my parents come from, well, my dad especially comes from Quebec. My mom also has Quebec roots, so I've, I heard it all my life, so I have to keep practicing. I have to go up north eventually, because uh, I'm going to see the family up there. It's been uh, almost two years now. My uncle has a sugar cabin up there, but his health isn't too great, so he's not doing it this year. The guy's a workhorse, too. I mean, he's got his... You know, I think I have a video up on YouTube, but he's got, you know, he's got his furnace going. He's he's chucking wood in there, and he's got this huge boiler. Um, it's on my channel a few years back. Check it out if you'd like. I'll give you a tour of the place. I couldn't work that hard. <laughs> See, I don't want to forget anybody. Oh yeah. Basil or Basil, I don't, I don't want to mispronounce your name. Southern gentleman, um, Basil Meadows. I, I use his last name because he's a he's a pipe, uh, he's a pipe smoker and he's also a pipe maker. So, go see what he has available. I do love this, love this pipe. It just keeps on going and giving. Um, Umfidis Tebo, who down in South Africa, he always um, greetings from my stoop. He says, and his stoop is his porch. It sounds very welcoming and very, very um, like come sit down, speak, speak with me, smoke a pipe with me, we'll chat. I like that. Sometimes his stoop is from uh, National Park down in South Africa. And he'll um, and he's very philosophical, Jen. I always appreciate because he's always philosophical about how to conduct one's life. He's a, a devout Christian as well, and that informs everything he says and does. Because let's face it, living on this uh, plane of reality, being born, being human, is not easy. And some people use their faith as a as a as a as a roadmap through it. Myself to an extent. But I don't want to ramble on. I wonder, I'll use that as another one of my um, pipe videos. M my thoughts on mes metaphysics and God and faith and how it guides you through life. That's that's a whole other video that I'll do. I don't want to run too late here. Let's see how much how much do I have going here. Oh, and, oh my God, I'm going on 20 minutes. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lock this up because this is a... We all have things to do. We all have busy lives. And uh, if you stay with me for this long, I'm very, very appreciative. 
if I've forgotten anybody, I'm sorry. I'll probably do another video. Uh, but I know many, many pipe people. Oh, Paul Morrow. Sorry. Paul. He used to have a... Used to have a pipe channel. He since decommissioned it, but he... Another decent pipe mentor that I'm very, very grateful for. He's a Geordie, which means he comes from the Newcastle area. Very nice guy. Um, I'm going to close it up. If I've forgotten anybody, I apologize. I um, will probably remember you right after I stop the video. But um, it was nice spending a little time with you, and um, I hope you're all well. And um, I think I'll be doing a video pretty soon. I'm getting more and more used to this, so all the best to you, and cheers.